your strength, your power, how is that going to get help to the other client? It is going to be very hard. You need to go to the ground first. You need to start with the basics first. Yes or no? So I'm going to teach you very basics first. Continue. Don't keep it down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Hello everybody, so we just finished our three-day uh, workshop for functional and mobility and two days for our level one certification program for Kerabel. And it was very, very useful, like we've never done this, we've done certified personal training programs but you don't really learn uh, exactly what to do. You've just been doing theoretical, theoretical, practical, you don't even know what to do. So even in these two days, we've come across six movements for standard conditioning, 12 movements for uh, your uh, GPP general preparedness and you know, physical preparedness and then your core movements so how to progress it over time how to uh, cater to different movements depending on your client base we've been learning all of this in the two days even though two days is a short time 24 hours but we've intensively broken down all the movements you know, uh, with every technical details and then how to uh, give these movements to different different clients you just don't have just like normal normal you don't not everybody can do care about directly how to make them do Kerabel, how to progress it from there. We've, been, uh, we've learned everything. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Parak. It will take a little time. And only the things which will basically put you to the next level is your hard work and consistency. If you're consistent to do the swing screens, presses, push presses, and all these exercises on a very regular basis, your technique will come very sharp. And you will ignore other points, for sure. All other points, hurting, 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 Lower back hurting. No. Your body, is, human body is the smartest machine ever made. It adapts to the stress given. Please understand. And you become stronger every day. If you practice, if you do the exercises technique correct. If you do the exercises technique wrong, then probably the chances of injuries become very high. But the exercises technique, what I'm trying to help you to learn, the way I'm teaching you, if it is correct, it is going to take a little time. For example, the kettlebell will fly left and right. The elbow will not come here because I can't hold your neck and twist it and make it correct. Now it will come correct. Your body is body, man. It will take little time to get mobile, right? Your body will take time to get little free. Your shoulders maybe it might be tight. Or probably some issues with the lower back, tighter hamstrings, some issues with your mind. Lot of things are going inside, right? So you saw it is sort out only with what time jayega. So once that time is passed then your technique will come correct. That is why I am trying to tell everyone, hard work consistency is very important. Learning sit just for the sake of learning, don't learn. Try to implement and then learn. So when you learn, then, then you relearn again. The day one of functional learning course, I told empty your mind. So, and then only I will be able to put something in your mind. Na? Then only you will be able to learn and grow. Namaste, my name is Asis Guru. And I just conducted three days kettlebell and functional and mobile training with Parak uh, sir, and we were amazing. A lot of us, uh, a lot of things, and I'm excited to implement this further with other clients and group classes. So I want to thank Parak sir.